The day is over. Your timely efforts allowed your supporters to remain unharmed. A new mime performance is being rehearsed at the theater. All right. Welcome back to Pathologic. I did a bit of looting around the place. Well, off camera. But now it's day 11, which might be the last day or maybe the second to last day. It's hard to say. What are they shooting at? Oh, that. Let's see. Ah, here we go. Evening letter from the Inquisitor. Day 10. Just to remind you, any news from Burrick yet? Any uh, any luck proving the mineral origins of the bacterium? Last time we spoke, Burrick did his best to assure me that the abattoir is clean of infection. Tomorrow, he is supposed to present me with evidence of that. As of now, I have no reason to suspect him of being short-sighted, let alone dishonest. If I understand him right, the character of the local soil renders geodesic reports unnecessary. Both the earth and the water here appear to be pure. But what caused the outbreak in this case? I'd rather not recur to the carrier hypothesis. After all, we only have one day left. Hmm. Yeah, I don't fucking know. Let's go to Vlad and get a new map. Probably the last map we'll get. What? If only, if only I knew before everything... If only I knew before everything that I've learned now. Have you seen my father lately? I think he's dead. I don't know how, but... Uh, anyways. My sister. I need a map. A thousand, as usual. Who cares now? Show me a single safe district. Uh, that one. <laughs> well, safe is perhaps an overstatement. Yeah, uh, there's... Is that one or two districts that are... That have not been invited with the plague yet? Hmm. Yeah, that's... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, I think? Seven. That's an auspicious number. All right then. Now what do we do? Um. Oh right. I should. I guess I should visit the theater. Probably my. La oh, gonna be my last opportunity to do so. Let's see if for. This mine performance, for once, will actually be of any use whatsoever. I'm just gonna visit the tailor shop to get more rifle ammo because that's a thing, apparently. Oh, I forgot to check the prices of everything again. Eh, yeah, well, doesn't really matter. Fairly certain I have enough money to see me through the rest of the day. I'm perhaps seriously over prepared. I don't think I've I haven't been strapped for cash in a lot in since like the first few days. All right, what do you got for me? The law of gravity is tragically incompatible with dream catching. Illusions have to be let go of in good time. There is a tricky way to save the specular tower, but there will be casualties. What do you say? The law demands that we remain silent, as if there's nothing to save but this ridiculous tower. There is another tricky way. It allows for saving the town of men. But it also requires a sacrifice to be made. What do you say? The law is impartial. <laughs> the choice is yours. Is there an alternative way to subvert your ridiculously unfair law? We're just doing our job. Why all the fuss? You've got time. Live some more. That was unhelpful as usual.
Okay then. About as helpful as usual, which is to say, find very not in the slightest. <laughs> Alright, that was a waste of time. Uh, let's go see what Block is up to. Oh, hi Clara. The fuck are you doing here? My goodness, he's tall. What? So, you wait for tomorrow. Okay. Hey, Clara. This false Georgi is no Georgi at all. Another person has been living in his body for two days now. Yeah! I think. Uh, well, I don't know about the living in his body, but the whole idea of him being a false Georgi. That's exactly what I was thinking. And now I want you to forget everything that you have ever been told about me. Trust me. Look me in the eye. Or look down. Or else you may think I'm trying to mesmerize you and impose my line of thinking upon you. Aglea is a traitor. She is the main foe on your victory road. <laughs> you liar. Aglea is my best friend and the most reliable ally I have. It was she who opened my eyes to the cunning deceit of the powers that be. I have wind-test her rightness firsthand. Just like I have wind-test the rightness of this fucking spelling firsthand. She She's telling lies. I've just found out that she doesn't want to find the source and defeat the disease at all. She's not counting on victory. She's not trying to find a way to Preserve the town in its true form. Her inquisitorial mission is just a smokescreen, a performance. What, she, what does she want then? Only one thing, to destroy the children's tower before she dies. As her final word, she has chosen you to become her tool. Do you know that these tools are called rams? Before she dies? She is doomed, sentenced to death. Her commission here was her last chance. She had to find a way to save the infected, but her job was done by the Ripper, Artemy Burak. Yesterday she received a letter. The powers that be do not acknowledge that she's fulfilled her mission. How the fuck do you know that? She will be executed as soon as she gets back. Why will she target the Polyhedron then? Doomed anyway. Because of hatred. Aglaea sees the polyhedron as Nina Kena's infernal gift. She thinks that Nina rose high, but her pride drew down the wrath of heavens. Aglaea believes that her duty is to destroy this challenge before it has led to more evil. Or maybe she doesn't even believe that. What is... Why did you call me a ram then? You were implying I'm a sheep, weren't you? Why does she need me here? It's all very simple. The army came. The Inquisitor, halfway to the scaffold already, has no power over the cannons. So she made you convince the commander, for General Ashes does not believe her one bit. But you will offer him a false report with a clear heart and point in the wrong direction. And which direction is right? None of them are, Bachelor Denkowski. Do come to your senses. Let go of your pride. Let go of your victory and let me have mine. The town will stay and nothing will have to, be, have to perish. None of the three worlds will have to be sacrificed. Neither beasts, nor men, nor children. How very convenient. Are you still trying to, are you trying to convince me with shouting once again? I'm not the person to be swayed by nervous exaltation. You may as well throw a fit. I still won't trust you. If the people I've asked you about are alive by tomorrow, tomorrow you'll have proof. That. Well, I'm pretty sure I've kept everyone alive so far. Everyone except you, uh, Big Vlad for some reason. Who are the people that it told me about? Well, that was entirely unhelpful. Ha. So they gave me a lot of stuff, but no actual proof of any of it. Which, and it basically just amounted to, well, what she said. Let go of your victory and let me have mine. Mm. 
frankly, I still have no proof that the polyhedron wasn't somehow the cause of all of this. I don't know how it would be, but I don't know how the fuck the polyhedron works to begin with, so... Who knows? What are you running from? Hey, Aglaia. Flora was talking shit about you. You gonna take that? There is an eternal order that fate itself has predetermined. It is due to this order that things yeah. happen the way they should, following a preordained path. I have studied I have studied the blueprints of the specular edifice. It's a very suspicious building, let me tell you. It's not actually a building at all. It's a machine. The only thing I cannot understand is how it is mounted. Its nature disallows it from being fixed in place. It works like a gyro. Indeed, a space fall on description, is it? What do you think about it? Hmm. Appreciate it. Brilliant monument to the aspiration of the human mind. Maybe its creators tried to break through to where men are not allowed, but unlike me, he succeeded. Or, I think it's where the pest is spreading from. Uh, I don't think that last part seems likely. Um, or at least it's not where, not where it's spreading from, so, uh, specifically. Yeah. Well, yeah. I feel that the cause of the epidemic has something to do with it. Probably. It seems like... It seems like... All the stuff around the epidemic... Like, all the... Around the epidemic... Seems to be... Like, every, a lot of stuff in this town, really, seems to be centering around that edifice and it's not and it's a relatively new construction too <coughs> relatively R relative to the rest of the town I mean and this is uh, but not so new that it was cons that it was constructed before the first outbreak I'm fairly certain Possibly. I don't like the fact that solid ground supports a construction like this despite the law of gravity. I want to know how they managed to mount it. By answering that question, we will f found out where the plague came from. Hmm. Perhaps. Perhaps. You spoke to the author of this creation yesterday, didn't you? Yeah. So find a way to torture him into telling you how they did it. I will, but I don't think Peter was the one to mount the construction. I think Andre was. Perhaps. There's logic to that. This we've certainly been confusing the two a lot lately. It could have been the Pope for all I care. It doesn't matter. I need the facts. The facts only. Something we can attach to the rest of the documents and show to the commander. I don't see the blueprints of the foundation here. Do find them for all that's holy. Didn't I give you them yesterday? Wait, what? Oh no, for the, for the foundation, right. <sighs> Fine. How in the world is this building supported when the very nature of it is unsupportable? Perhaps the staircase itself is a form of reciprocal frame on which the whole thing rests. Perhaps it is the complete opposite. The base of the building is not a structural support, but instead an anchor to hold this floating structure to the earth in the way of a stepladder thrown from a dirigible. I don't know. But at least we'll be sure. Alright, let me do it. Do I really- I really don't need more coffee. I- I use- I use the coffee like once, and I thought it was like, oh, it's gonna be really useful, and then it never actually was after that one time. In fact, I probably don't even need to buy anything at all today. Alright, what's your deal? They took Andre away! The bold chairman of our feast! We could do nothing. They threatened us with guns and even killed two of us. Who took him? The soldiers! We were resisting them for almost an hour. They have broken in and turned everything here upside down. Why did it happen? Yesterday, Andre attacked a patrol while trying to protect his brother. He disarmed the soldiers and killed an officer. I'm the soldier. I thought he killed the soldiers. Whatever. Uh, today they came to take revenge on him. So they, f they figured that out, that it wasn't Peter? 
Alright then. Where did they take him? I've heard one of them say that they'd take him to the railway dead end. I think they'll lock up Stemmerton in one of the carriages. And then shoot him. Is that the railway dead end? Looking for him there. That's a precise description. If I've ever heard one. What is this railway dead end? Well, I don't know for sure which of the lines are the dead end there. Do I look like a tower woman? I think that's what they call the line that the military train came by. What, am I wrong? When was, when was he taken away? Oh, a moment ago. Or rather, half an hour, no more. Try to do something. There are too many soldiers there. There, there are more than a dozen of them here. And there must be even more there. You won't make it. Hmm. Ugh. Well, I'll... Don't worry. Uh, uh, I'm not going to fight them. Uh, don't worry. I will. Uh, let's see. No, it's like, perhaps General Block can interfere before it's too late. But... Uh, probably not no hope in here. Probably not no hope for the life of anyone. Anything more to say? Are you sure you're in good health? Uh, yes. I'm glad. All of you are obsessed with murder and destruction. Why doesn't it occur to any of you that you can heal without cutting the sick parts off? Eh. Uh. <laughs> because healing. Uh, because healing it almost invariably means destroying the sick parts. Because that's what most of medicine is. I mean, what do you think medication does? Like, that, uh, most of it is based around kill, uh, killing off stuff that's in you that's making you sick. Same with... And then there's, of course, surgery for removing uh, uh, pieces of you and all that crap. He, uh, because the body is quite good at recovering from damage like that. So we just cut out the parts that are preventing it from recovering and then let it heal itself. Really, doctors do... Uh, mm. uh, you're just rather naive, I suppose. By the way, two days ago I received a little letter from you. What was this supposed to mean? Take it at face value, bachelor. Nothing has to be broken, believe me. This town is alive. As for you and Harrispex, you are demons, deceived and ruthless. Yeah, this is gonna help, uh, this is really going to help you persuade me. <laughs> calling me, calling us demons. Your eyes are white, for you are blind. Your tongues are red, for you thirst for blood. Your cells are invincible, for you are hollow. One of you wants to decapitate it, another to slice away its body. Stop rhapsodizing, Clara. Your tricks are cheap. You are not. This false Georgi. I don't believe you, Changeling. You cannot be trusted because you always contradict you yourself. Not the only and I will keep everything. Both of you are destined to fail. Both of you will ruin that which can live united. United tragically, but united still. If you united tragically, why is it wor worth keeping alive? Let them argue, let them deny one another, but that's, that is exactly how it grows. The town is inconceivable without the tower. The tower is impossible without the town. Well, maybe neither deserve to exist. Also, didn't the town exist long before the tower? So that's nonsense as well. How are you gonna keep it all? It's impossible. True, it can only happen miraculously. You can't do that. Just trust me. That will be your miracle. Although Berg doesn't need that anymore. He has paid for his thickness in spades. We'll see. Your letter was impressive. If I ever get out of here, I'm going to keep it as a memento of this trip. Alright then. So, there's a mutiny. We thinned out the ranks of marauders, but now they've got new blood. Did you put, did you put an, uh, Andre Stamatin, the architect, in front of a firing squad? I've never heard of this person before. And no, I never gave such an order. Tell me more. I was informed that you, your soldiers took away Andre Stamatin, an architect, to shoot him. But he must not be shot. 
Listen here. Any orders given here are given by me, and I gave no such order. If a soldier claims I did, then they are a mutiny and a mutineer and subject to a court martial. I will begin the investigation of this incident immediately. He was taken to the railway. Our first reinforcement set him free. I was I just was by the weapon. It's patrolled by the 8th Company. There, these are loyal men. Although there has indeed been suspicious activity. If what you're saying is the soldiers took your friend, claiming to have done so on my orders. What's this suspicious activity? Answer the question, Bachelor. Oh, you answer mine. Some of the nonsense. You are not my subordinate, but there's not the moment to waste on such rubbish. Please be so kind as to follow the chain of command. Yes, it was like you said. Where did you get this information? The witnesses of the arrest have told me. Fine. I'll summon the co company commander and have him report the situation. If your friend was caught red-handed or arrested duly and according to the instructions, he will be brought to me. If the bastards are abusing their authority, we will arrest them. It'll be too late. I'm sorry to hear that, but I have no right to remove the soldiers from their posts. There is tension. Be patient, or just go there yourself. If you see an ex execution being prepared for, tell Captain Longin he is to cease unauthorized activity and wait for me. Alright. Well... Yeah. Alright, let's go. Alright, here we go. Wow, there's a lot of them. Ah! Bloody hell. Why can you point that thing? Well, this is concerning. Hi. Aha! And here's the good architect. So you came on your own, your own accord, willingly, why no escort? I'm an architect, I'm a bachelor. Bachelor and architect, who cares? I'm not going to waste my time getting to know you. Tell me, was it you that perforated my men yesterday? But now we're going to perforate you. You're religious, now is the time to pray. Are you out of your mind? I want to see your superior officer, Alexander Block. Your Block is not our superior. He was only just appointed to be our commander. So don't run complain to him. We don't take orders from the guy. This reeks of a court martial officer. Come on, hands on the nape, face to the wall. There, to the car. Hand your personal belongings over. Quick, march. Don't go out without a fight, you low lives. Ow! Ow. Well, that went poorly. Apparently they're mistaking me for Ali- for Andre somehow? Well then. I know just how to deal with this situation. There we go. Oh, do these guys not have anything on them? That's lame. Anyways, now let's talk to this guy. Like he's taking me for someone else. But I'm not the person you were going to shoot. What makes you think that? We'd love to shoot you, whoever you are. 30 people have walked this past day already. Two of them have bought the return ticket though. We only accept Panacea. Here it is, see? Keep it close to the heart. So what, lucky guy? Got a panacea? You should be treated by your own vial. Ow. What? Oh, come on! Da. Uh, the bag. Okay. Go for it. I won't go down without a fight and then shoot him. Fine. There we go. All dead. Jeez, I'm glad I mentioned talking about saving up my rifle ammo. Jesus, these guys have nothing on them. What? Come on! These guys should have been... These guys have rifles! They, 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 they shoot at me and everything, but they don't have any rifle ammo or anything at all? Come on! There, not a sign of Andre. No, not a trace of the body either. I wonder what I should do now. Well, whatever. I made the place a lot safer by getting rid of those low lives. 
Uh, maybe go back to block. My arms are stiff. Listen, your soldiers opened fire at me. I'm already aware of that. You were absolutely in the right. I thank you. Excuse me? Enough! This cannot go on, on any longer. My units are not following orders. Yesterday a quarter of them succumbed to the disease. Today I lost a half more. The only good thing is that the plague mows the mutineers down faster than it does the loyal soldiers. Fitting spoils of their rebellion. What units are these? The 15th Company. The Flamethrower Corps. The 42th, uh, 42nd Battalion, uh, Infantry Battalion. Partially. The new raw troops. Transferred under me on a railway hall. Specifically for this damn mission. Do they have insignia or any other distinctive features? Who needs insignia? The soldier's office part is a criminal. Criminals are subject to a quick trial and immediate punishment. This is absolutely obvious. Now is not the time to take us off line. What should I do if I see a soldier off the post? Kill them on the spot. Offer resistance. Report to me. Though I'm already on it. If only I had enough forces left, the mutineers and traitors would have already been exterminated publicly. Just like at the cost of Fords. It's nice to see your zeal, Commander. God damn. That's a fine mess. <laughs> Can I have to fucking... Yeah. Uh, as if the plague and, and... and cutthroats weren't bad enough. And arsonists. Now we gotta deal with rogue military. <sighs> Nothing can go right around here, can it? Well, I guess I could. Could I better go tell the lady that I wasn't able to find Andre? What is it about? I feel like something about this town that drives people mad. Oh, she's gone. Huh. Oh, hi, Andre. Good to see you oh, well. I would have let my fists loose if not for these pins. What? Hey, you haven't abandoned me, old boy. I wasn't expecting you to come, to be honest. See, I was stupid enough to return here. You probably know already that the soldiers are at each other's throats. The squads that are loyal to the general are killing the mutineers by the cannon, and the latter are quite displeased with me. Ah. Tell me what happened. Start from the beginning. So, yesterday I came to my brother to sit by his side, as I was planning to. And there were these war mongols. And there these war mongols were. When I saw them, I knew our cake was dough. What? I had them removed from my brother's place and ran off looking for him. I kept searching all night, but there was nowhere to be seen. I even went to the general. He told me there's a mutiny. But it was he who told you about the mutineers. I was there when he himself was informed about them. That is what saved me. I rushed to the cannon, started asking questions about an executed architect. They said they have arrested a lot of rabble to execute at dawn. And then they offered special treatment to me. I barely escaped with a whole skin. Then I rushed to the pub to find reinforcements and assault the cannon. That's where it gets stupid. <laughs> Story of this entire fucking game! This, that could be the tagline of this, of Pathologic. That's where it, uh, Pathologic. That's where it gets stupid. <laughs> it seems that I've raised so much noise by the cannon, they've made special in inquiries about me. They've sent a squad to the den. Okay, I know what happened next. How did you make it manage to break free? My faithful comrades have won me back. On our way here, they told me that Peter came home and was sleeping like a log. I made sure it's true. And then I came back here to count my losses. I see. There's also a rumor that Andre Stamatin, the architect that had murdered every soldier in his studio yesterday and set fire to a stone stairway later, was just executed by the mutineers. That's when the assault began. What is that supposed to mean? <laughs> that was, uh, yeah. <laughs> that was me. <laughs> Yeah, it seems like it was a case of uh, confused identity, or rather intentionally, perhaps intentionally confused identity. I think they were just trying to mug me, frankly. So I am you. 
The furnace of the catastrophe has molded my brother, me, my brother, and you into a single person. Uh, no, I, it was just a case of mistaken identity. Or something. The fire of war has molded us into a threefold bullet. It's natural. We are one. The three sides of a single process. Come to the capital with us. Wait a minute. I think I've heard that one already somewhere. Deja vu. Really? Well, it's no wonder another smart person has pointed out the obvious to you. Wait, it's too early to celebrate yet. Show me the designs of the tower's foundation. Alrighty then. There's a terrible foundation which allows the tower to stand, defying the laws of physics and geometry. All the relevant cal uh, calculations. Why are you standing there like a dummy. Fuck off. All right. Good. I have unearthed the basis of the miracle. In order to support the tower, the spire was drilled precariously deep into the earth. The consequences of this are most dire. I should take the designs to the Inquisitor. Right. Let's go then. Finally! Making some progress. I'll be at a cost of a lot of fucking rifle ammo. But hey, I'll recover. If only there were if only those patrolmen were still patrolling around, then I'd be able to get loads of rifle ammo really easily from all the stuff I've been stuck finding, but no, they've all completely vanished. This cutthroat's right fucking there! What are you guys doing? There's two of them! And a fucking arsonist! Everything around here. Why are you aiming at the wall? All right, I got the blueprint, so it wasn't easy, but I got him. The senior kinds have given up life and power. Georgi confirmed it. All that for Maria. Okay. By the by the way, Bachelor, have you by any chance heard of the outrageous event that happened yesterday? Please forgive me, as one of our common friends likes to say. Quite a lot of outrageous events happened yesterday. In the bone steak lot. Yeah, someone tried to inside a riot. Huh. The military have exterminated an unarmed mob. And a perfectly healthy mob. This is the event I'm talking about. And I know for sure who was behind it. Because I know, because I know who turned out to be guilty of this horrible crime. Me. I was the one they framed. And we understand each other full well, because there, everyone was doing their job. Everyone only knew what they were supposed to know. Supposed by you. You? No. You only provided the military with the information. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about those who have orchestrated this Mysteria. Undoubtedly, it was Maria. And this Mark, the impresario of the local theater, has given her the, her the cue as to how. Huh. Yes. Yesterday she was unconscious all day long. She is a witch. The Dark Mistress. Have you already heard about Nina and Victoria? Ask around. Then you'll see who Maria starts to be. I've yet to see any actual evidence of any of this witchery. I mean, all they've done is give cryptic bullshit. So, uh, some, some of which has turned out to just not even be true. So, yeah. She will turn into a warlock queen and make the town bend before her tyranny. Like Nina before her, only even more frightening. It can be proven. How can you prove it? I am content with the accounts of two extremely reliable prosecutors. They, they know for sure that yesterday's pictogram in the lot was created by Maria. The first is a man that has been selflessly in love with Maria for a long time now, and has recently come to know of some of her secret doings. Who is it? Ogimsky's son. The second is Maria's younger brother, little Kaspar, who also knows Maria's immediate plans better than anyone else. He is so terrified of them that he's ready to run to the ends of the earth. Interesting. By the way, if you want to talk to this Kaspar boy, please hand this panacea over to him. This vial was brought to me by Burris yesterday. It's reliable. The boy will understand. Actually, after talking to him, so will you. 
Ah, Maria the Younger Brother. That would be the guy in the uh, polyhedron, right? Alright, I'll see to it. With the bee in my bonnet, too. Oh. They've grown up. Do have a look. I've got the blueprint of the foundation. Here it is. Take a look. Though the miraculous machine turned out to be a lever pumping poisonous organic matter from below the ground, health symbolic. There's a certain familiar logic to it. The general logic of the world structure. Don't tell me you're surprised, Bachelor. Why are you calling it a lever? So the local diggers, drillers, and engineers find sophisticated ways to screw a longest stem into the ground under Andre Stamerton's gaze. The polyhedral egg lies upon the stem as though it was a spring. Oh, that reminds you, of, reminds you of a lever, doesn't it? Not particularly. Huh. But if the builders stirred the underground deposits when they installed the foundation, why is the outbreak only happen now? Well, not only now. There was also another one, remember? Huh. Because of the soil. I think this clot used to be a pit where the steppe people would bury the remains of slaughtered bulls. There are facts to support this. I suspect it was situated above the crab's point. The pressure was gradually increasing. Perhaps the pintel, uh, pintel was shifting. And when it got to the dot, uh, when it got to the clot... <sighs> yes, yeah, sounds plausible, kind of. <sighs> we have found the source. I congratulate you on the victory, Danelle. Tomorrow is the last, and the hardest day. We have. But it's all very sudden. Somehow I can't shake the feeling that you knew beforehand. See you at the meeting in the kid quarters tomorrow. Okay. The very soil in which the town is built is seeping with poison. The construction of the tower had uncovered something that was lying in wait. The cause of the outbreak is clear now. It's a systematic certainty. Does this mean, however, that we must destroy the tower? The dying town is already beyond salvation, but the polyhedron, the epitome of human aspiration, may be saved. Epitome of human aspiration? Hmm. By the way, there's a mutiny. Two companies have gone rogue. They're trying to get into the long range weapon sound. I know that already. This is really too much. Block Ia hunting them and punishing them mercilessly. Yes, he's good at that. The worst is the fact that Descent is shortening our time frame, and it's already short. We need to be swift. Any minute now, Block will realize that every hour of delay is biting off a quarter of his forces. Do everything we need to by tomorrow. I hope. Maybe the, you know, he mentioned that, there were, uh, that some of them were catching the disease. Maybe they'd be less likely to catch the disease if they didn't, if they covered up a bit more. Instead of having fucking bare arms and everything. Ugh. Fucking soldiers of the YMCA, whatever. All right, let's go up the polyhedron again. Yo. It will be as I say. You came here on our behalf, I know. What is there for us to talk about then? Tell me, Tazbar, what happened to Maria? You should know that better than me. I am not going to help you with this. Want a grudge against your sister? Why? Sister forces out us out from here. It was she who put down a, the bowl in the boomstick lot yesterday, wasn't it? No. She's involved into many other things. For example, it was she who got rid of Eva. How's that for news, huh? She wanted to have you all for herself. I'll tell you a lot about my sister, but I don't want to flop the dirty linen. Eva has committed suicide and left a note. Ask my sister. She knows how to do these things. She won't lie to you. She'll tell the truth. But well, where did the bull come from? Why are you asking me? Bulls are Gimski's domain. The big one has resigned. Talk ask the young one. He knows a lot about my sister, too. Alright, take the panacea. This is for you. I won't. I have a thousand fellows here. Either all of us get it, or none of us does. Take it. Or give it to Olgimski. He'll tell you all about sister. Ugh. Hmm. I'll tell the Inquisitor that you, by any stretch of imagination, cannot acknowledge the complicity of your relatives to the lot situation against your personal preferences. Is that correct? It is. Now, no one will claim that I'm only saying that to protect my family. Yes, I've already realized what your position is. Alright. Okay. As Khan says he would gladly provide information that would help us- would have helped to compromise his sister. The problem is he doesn't have any such information. 
quite convincing. Seems as Vlad the Younger is the only witness left. Indeed. Still not sure what happened to... Nine. Yes, I can jump off of it. What happens if I jump off into the water? Will that break my fall, or will it break my bones? <laughs> my bones, okay. Darn. That would have been really convenient. Like, if I could have gotten down, like, just a matter of seconds instead of minutes. I mean, it would have been nice, but then again, that would have been nice, and they can't be nice. Alright, let's go check on young Vlad, then. Oh, no, let's check on Maria first. I don't want to deal with exhaustion right now, I'm just gonna... This is... I'm just not even... Huh. Well, that's what I've got lockpicks for. Or not, as the case may be. Damn it. That's a problem. Alright, it all ends tomorrow, and a bunch of dead people infected and all that, I don't care. In which the Kane's mission revealed this new and quite unexpected aspect to the Bachelor. Okay then. I'll be the judge of that. Oi. Oi, soldier. Oi! Idiot. Oh, nice. You were a big fucking help. Um, let me just... Eh, who cares. Wait, when did I lose health? Oh, whatever. I'll just, uh... Up this for a second. Grab this. Use it. And there we go. Man, I never did use this light vaccine, did I? I intended to use it to like go through like do loot like a whole bunch of stuff in the vector districts, but it just never was necessary. Yeah. Hi there. Maria will stand up for the children. I'm on her side. Hello, John. Oh, uh, do you know what happened in the lot yesterday? Uh, yesterday? Yes, of course. It was ugly. Burke is beside himself. Do the Canes have anything to do with it? Wait a minute. No, this can't be. Kings were within a, within a hair's breadth of destruction. The bull situation was arranged to smear their name and set the people against them. Who gave you this unique idea? They can't believe you've come to this conclusion on your own via logical inference. Glare thinks Maria did it. Rubbish. Maria's innocent. Moreover, I, now I understand she's our only hope. She's the only one who has the courage to keep building the thing that we've set the foundation of. The cowardly and the weak want the reliability, comfort, and confidence of tomorrow. They also want her dead. What about the kin? It's like this can be explained to them. Kin is gone. For good, sadly. I can already see that Burke has failed. He's lost everything. So from now on, I will serve her who will construct a new miracle instead of the lost one. I want to give this to you. It's a panacea. I need nothing. I have changed. I'll sell my property. The money will go towards the new construction project. The town has to be rebuilt from scratch. Yeah, that's probably for the best. Burn it all down and start anew. This is how it's gonna be for you. What an idol. 
uh, the haters rest their case. The victors adopt the faith of those they prevail upon. Everything seems to confirm that Maria is pure to Driven Snow. I cannot even imagine all the adoration our subjects will sit shower with her with if she becomes the ruler of these places. Unsurprisingly. Ugh! Bloody hell. But yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, I don't think, uh, yeah, there's no evidence that Maria did it. I'm not entirely certain why they had thought Maria did it. Really? Oh, nor, no, uh, nor do I understand why we'll think the Inquisitor did it. It's all very strange. Also, the guy seems to think that Maria is responsible for Eva's death? I don't know. That doesn't seem plausible. Apparently because she wants me all to herself or something. But I've yet- I've yet to see any actual evidence that Maria e that Maria actually loves me. I've heard people say it, but- What the fuck are you doing? But I've- But it all seems to be- But it, she's not giving me any indication of that. So much disinformation, I don't know. Well, now I guess I'll go over to Bad Grief to get some more ammo. Yeah? See? I'm resigning. No more trade tomorrow. Ship orders. Should I drop my will perhaps, eh? What do you think? You got them paper smart, Professor. So tell me, how should I dispose of my property? If you offer me adv no advice, I'll have it all buried. Still better than just giving it away for that Aglaia last account and inventorize. <laughs> donate it to the orphans. <laughs> yeah, donate the Glare. guns and stuff to the orphans. <laughs> They'll certainly appreciate that. Each 500. I should have for them. Not that it'll matter for much longer. Certainly offset that by selling off some of these and yeah, yeah, I'll keep them. Not like I've got much use for money. And you know what? No, never mind. That's way too expensive. Uh, let's probably get it. I could probably get it cheaper somewhere else. Man, I have not gotten. Do you even have a shotgun? No. Got a punch shotgun. Well. Well, okay, I did get an opportunity to get a shotgun early go, but I passed it up in the favor of a panacea or vaccine or whatever it was. Maybe not the best decision, considering. Alright, now what? I don't know. I guess I'll just sort of wander around and see if anyone needs me uh, Schmouter. I don't think any of my adherents need it, but whatever. <sighs> well, next episode uh, might be the last, depending on. Uh, depending on how long day 12 lasts, might be very short. But, uh, but yeah, the game was over and I feel like I'm no closer to figuring out any of the mysteries. I've just gotten more mysteries. Whatever. Without any further ado, I have been Joe Bob and I'm very pleased. <laughs> and remember, dislike the video, unsubscribe if you're for some reason subscribed, and leave a nasty comment in the comment section down below. So long, suckers.